Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Beorning and we are here in the Brownlands looking for the fallen shadow that we have been hunting for since that is what drew us here in the I think we ran into a rude archer somewhere yes one rude archer all right. Hello. Do you want to die? I'm telling you. Well, whether or not that's true, it, it's what you're requesting. So I will oblige you. How about that? Thank you. Thank you for your business. All right. Now, where were we? Yes, I was looking for Easterlings, apparently, because they're all over the place. May the Fallen Shadow is just an Easterling. That's it. Just an everyday old Easterling. One of these Easterling sorcerers was trying to fly and fell down or something like that. Yep. Yep. At the... Trying to get around here and... Well, just in the way. Just in the way. Now, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Being interrupted again, apparently. Oh, ha, got him just in time. Just in time. Alright, next. Oh, yeah, uh, this looks like a fallen shadow. Mm -hmm. That looks ugly, doesn't it? Yuck. Uh, hello there. This must be the shape my men and I beheld as it plummeted from the sky. This must be the shape my men and I beheld as it plummeted from the sky. What a terrible creature. <sighs> Is that riding gear? Did someone ride astride this terrible beast? And if so, where is the rider? You really don't want to know, do you? Something is wrong in this land. Oh, I can feel it. See what I have found, Pineclaw? Something is wrong in this land. I can feel it. This must be why we are here. This is the reason for my your dream. Remember the words of Suvaluk, my father. Dreams have power. We ignore their warnings at our peril. This beast is dead. But something rode it. And that creature is not here. Your dream brought us here to keep that creature from doing great evil, Pineclaw. I feel it in my very bones. All right. This is the reason for your dream. This is why we are here. This is the reason for your dream. This is the reason why we are here. I have never seen a creature as terrible as this. Lest it be the mighty worm my brother slew before Zudgrund. As you stare at the course, there's only one thing that could have done this. A Nazgul. Uh, do you know anything about this rider of this beast, Pineclaw? Your face tells me it must be a creature of terrible power. We must find it. We must search for it throughout the land. Look for signs of his passage among the lands of the great river. After we have scouted these lands, we will meet back here for this creature, Pineclaw. Let this purpose beguile our steps. All right. So. Let us see if we can find the creature. Find the rider. What happened to it? 
Where did it go? Why is it here? Well, if it is a Nazgul, then it's probably looking for a ring or something like that. Minor little things such as that. Alright, let's see. Now let's travel throughout the browns. Hello there! I have spied upon a camp of the Kundala here in the brown lands. Pinklaw, you say? I am Gamal of Stangard. I have spied upon the camp of the Kundalore from the Brownlands. The Easterlings have been gathering a greater numbers for some time, but something recently has changed. I know very little of their language, only bits and pieces. They speak of a fragmented tongue, with some words I know and some all thereon. But I think they speak of some new and powerful ally. Coraton. They call this person that inspires them. But if that is a name or description, I do not know. If you are of a mind to help me, defeat many of these Easterlings here in the Brownlands, and also confront some of the Kundalore for the shout messages for the Coraton. If hearing that name inspires the Easterlings to rise up against my people, let us make them pay for using that name. Alright? I suppose we can do that. So that. Oh. You know, someone just gave me a quest to kill you guys. And what do you do? You present yourself! Just saying, hello, I'm here to be killed. Would you do me the favor of doing it? Alright, now, where was this outpost that we were just at? I think the... Oh, there it is in the... Distance? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You were actually stealthed. Oh, no, 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 that was just the usual. Hello, I saw you type thing. All right. You know, I'm trying to get inside your fortress to kill your leaders. So, don't get in my way. Really? Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, I guess it is. All right, now here is the fortress and I need the fortress while well, I can kill Easterlings out here the shouters are all inside shouting apparently so let us whap bomb and we're down that's three Lash Karg. Well, yeah, there's no way to avoid getting at least one of these. That's typical. Alright, let's just knock this guy down. And then we can start looking for those shouters. Uh oh, I didn't mean quite that. get that many in the same time. All right. Hey, let's take care of that little problem of a ripped throat. You know, it doesn't help you when you're working around with a ripped throat. It doesn't look dignified. Nope, not in the least. Now, let's... Cat Master. Right. Shouters. Ah, uh, here's one right here. Hello! Kuraton, lend me! Oh, Kuraton, lend me power. Alright. Do not fail the Kuraton! Alright. Do not fail the Kuraton. Are you THE Coratone? 
Alright, let's see. Okay, let's take care of Mr. Rip Throat here. And then we will find the second Chowder, who seems to use Corton as a title. I mean, unless he's referred to, you're not THE such and such name. I mean, but you very rarely use. That did not sound like a context where one would use a given name as a with the definite article. So let's see. Now, oh, I think I found another shouter here. Court, oh, let me pour out. Yeah, I know. I heard that bit before. There you go. Here's some power. How's that for power? Sorry, Corton did not s lend you any power there. Corton must be a lore master then if he can lend power, right? Alright, now let's see. I guess he didn't mean it quite that way. Alright, now let's see. Where were we? Now we want to get back to Gamo. Assuming I can get through all this mess. Up this way. And... I think I can get through here without getting shot down three times by Easterling Archers. Or being... Attacked by vicious cats. Okay. Killed a couple of shouters. I do not like this. Kundalar are too near to stun guard. This, the Kundalar are too near to stun guard. If this Corton continues to inspire their forces, it will not be long before they march on stun guard. <sighs> I thought of something while you were bringing justice to the Easterling Spineclaw. The word Corton, I think it's not a name. It has much in common with the word for black cloak. But the Kundalore do not wear such things. Do you think they are inspired by someone of some, a sorcerer of some type? Mm, black cloak. Well, that's not good. Who would right wear a black cloak? A black rider, of course. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, nothing of interest. So that must mean that we go to the next deed location. And that's because we have a deed for this. And... Let's look to... Ravanian. And... Western Rohan, Great, oh, Great River, that's right. Great River. It's not in Great River. Whaling Sea, Think Old Explorer, Rushcourt Explorer, Parth Calibrant Explorer, all these explorers. Actually, no, it's probably under Epic then. So let's go under Epic. Ah, here we go, The Vanished Writer. And in fact, we should take this off because the... Well, we'll see. I think this might lead us. If not, we'll have to. But we do have to get back into the Russian Gore. I know, one of our favorite places. For the next quest in this series. And we got to take care of it. You can do the six in any order, which is... Since it is a deed instead of a... Quest. That's probably why they made it a... So I always do them pretty much in the same order. Maybe I should keep the quest up. 
All right, let's see. Volume three. Yeah, because now that I'm close enough, it'll lead me the right direction. Yeah, I'm a Bjorning, and I still have trouble seeing through all these crazy reeds. All right. Ah, here we go. Up to our camp. Uh, hello there. Something has made the Gredbig here more aggressive than they used to be. You defeated some of them before we went into the Brownlands. Did you notice anything unusual about them? Well, I have. On my way back from the carcass of the beast, I was set upon by a group of Gredbig. I fought them off, but I noticed something peculiar. As they lay twisting beneath the sword strokes, their blood seemed to boil like water over a roiling flame. Is this the cause of their newfound aggressiveness? I want you to feed Gradebig and collect samples of their blood? See if the blood boils and bubbles. What could have caused this? Boiling? Blood? Oh, good grief. Well, let's see what we have about him. Any, but are there any grade bigger in the air? Oh, here, here's one right now. Hello. Hey, is your blood boiling? All right. Uh, oh, let me, let me take some nice scientific samples of it. Yep. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. Uh, that is hot. Wow. That. Now that is what I call a warm-blooded insect. All right, now let us. Okay, maybe hot blood. It might be more of a more accurate term for this guy. All right, and there we go. No change on that one. Hey. And okay, it's bubbles, but it's no longer boiling. Well, that's good news, I guess. Okay, overshot it. All right, we don't want to overshot, and we don't want to fight those. Oh no, and we don't want to be sickened either. Let's get rid of that sickening stuff. Oh, that is four down. Or actually, get four down. Actually, we're getting through this one rather quickly. This is faster than I usually get through this quest. So let's. It's cool to the touch. Right. Cool to the touch. Well, okay. I guess being all right. Here we go. I suppose cool to touch is reasonable. Now where were we? Oh yes, let's get back to Edbrit. I didn't know I went this far off. All right, there we go. Amazing the ground, the brown lands. You very easily get disoriented. Uh, right, uh, very well. Here we go. Interesting. Seems that whatever causes blood to boil has moved on. As time went on, the blood you collected ceased to boil? Interesting. It seems that whatever caused the blood to boil has moved on. What type of creature could have this effect on the great big? Whatever it might be, its presence alone was enough to make the blood of the great big royal and bubble. And when it moved on, the blood gradually ceased to boil. What evil is this? What the mere presence can so enrage creatures of nature? Only one kind of name comes to my mind. Nazgul. Alright, let's... And on to our third site, which is going to be Parth Calabrant. 
Nice that I left a milestone there. Right. And I think and I think Cedric has something for me. And what does he have for me? We'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorning.